Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you the latest in LED technology, the filament LED. Now these have been out for quite a while, but mostly in Chinese cheap manufacturers, off-brand names that you've never heard of before. And here, they have finally been made by a big name manufacturer, such as Fiat Electric. Now, yes, these have been made by big name manufacturers again, Fiat Electric in particular here, using these filament style LEDs in this vintage style bulb. Now the reason these came out before these regular ones is because at the time these filament LEDs were very yellow and this was a perfect application for it. They wanted yellow in these bulbs and it worked out well. Of course they fixed that problem from changing the type of coating they used on the filament style LEDs here to give you a nice soft white which equals the same color temperature as an incandescent bulb. So, here you can see the front of the packaging, it's really flashy, really cool, you can tell they really want you to see this all new design. There's also a frosted version if the clear is not your style, but I think the clear is cool because you get to see the inside and how it really works. One nice thing about these filament style LEDs is you don't have the weight associated with a traditional LED bulb. There's no weight so it's the same, it's, it's just as light as a regular incandescent bulb. There's like no weight to these things. There's no giant heat sink. All the ballasting equipment is right there in the bottom of the base of the bulb. And these things are made of real glass. It's not plastic like these. These things, I think, are the future. They're just great. There's no problems with them. A lot of the Chinese versions have 60 hertz flicker problems that are associated with them. These don't have that. Fiat Electric has figured it out, and here it is in flashy packaging. On the side here, we'll see it lasts 18 years, according to them, with a lifetime warranty. You can see it's omnidirectional, not like the traditional LEDs where it could only it didn't have really good light distribution. Here, it's everywhere, and it literally is. You can see more information at the bottom, the lumens, cost per year. You can see some more information here, down on the back, on the side, made in China, but at least it's not by some cheap old weird manufacturer making it flicker and giving you headaches. These are the real deal. Of course, the lighting facts, which is now standard on light bulbs. So anyway, let's open up the packaging. It's really neat. You pull it up, and the shape of the bulbs comes out with it. You can see there, kind of curves out, really cool. So let's go ahead and take one of them out. Put the packaging off to the side. First thing you will notice with these things is how light they are. There's like no weight to them at all. Definitely nowhere near as heavy as a, one of these. It's just as light as a regular incandescent, but just a tad bit heavier. So like, it's really hard to notice the difference. Here you can see the filament style LEDs. Really cool, really cool technology. You can see they use the same type of stem and everything as a regular incandescent bulb. Get some more information about it here on the bottom. It tells you that it's seven watts. Of course, these are a 60 watt equivalent. There's also a 40 watt equivalent out there as well. As you notice, there's six filament LEDs in here where the 40 watt version actually has only four. So it seems that each of these filament LEDs, at least this type that they're using here, equals about 10 watts. So, once again in the bottom you can see they just cram all the little circuitry down there and it just works. And it works beautifully. So let's go ahead. First turn on a regular incandescent. I don't happen to have a clear one with me right now. But we'll use this basic frosted one. Just so you can see what it looks like. So there's a standard incandescent, you can see it flickers a little bit because the filament is sagging from all of its years of use, but that's a regular incandescent. Let's go ahead and turn it off and put in the all new filament style LED. And there we go. One thing you'll notice right off the bat is these lines when I turn it. Now the frosted version does not have this problem. 
and there will also be a video of the frosted ones as well. But with the clear ones, you're going to have this problem. And the incandescent version of a clear bulb also had this problem because, as you can see, on the other side there, there's the stem that goes up to attach to the top of the filament. Well, same type of idea here. It creates shadows. And when you turn it, you can notice the shadows. If you leave it in one place, it's not as noticeable. But one neat thing about the clear version is you get to see how they really work. Let's see if I can get a nice close-up here. If the camera decides to do absolutely anything today. You can hear a faint hum, but it's very faint. Not noticeable at all. Unless it's like right up next to your ear. But as long as you're not putting it up next to your ear, there's no big deal with that. I just think this is really cool. I believe this is the future of LED lighting. There won't be any more of these. This is the way it's going to go. It replaces incandescent perfectly in weight, in light distribution, in size. Look at it. It's even smaller than a regular incandescent. And it works. It doesn't get as hot as an incandescent either. I put my whole hand around this thing and it doesn't get as hot. It's amazing. It solves so many problems with a regular incandescent and with the LEDs, or the older ones that is. So let's go ahead and take this out and put it into a adapter here so we can burn both of them at once so you can compare them a little bit easier. Here we go. You can see the incandescent turned on just a, a fraction of a second quicker than the LED. But then again, the LED doesn't take as long to warm up as a CFL. And it just, it works. I can, like I said, put my whole hand around this. I don't want to put my hand on that. That's going to burn my hand. But it just lights it up, and it lights it up well. Put it above, you can see that side. This side is the regular incandescent. You can see there's a little uh, shadow there. That's from the stem of the bulb. So you see, the regular incandescent has the same problem as the LED, but not as bad, nowhere near as bad. But I do believe this over here is the lighting of the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video of my Feed Electric 60 watt filament clear LED bulbs. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.